and welcome back and what we're going to start doing now is sketching learning how to sketching uh, linear graphs and there's two methods and the method that I'm going to teach you today is the called it's a stupid well it's not a stupid name but it's really a good name is the gradient intercept method Okay, um, and basically uh, what it says is that if you have, if you know, and I'll put it in blue or something like that, if you know that y equals mx plus c, what that means is, what it tells you is that m is the gradient, talk about the gradient, and that c is the y-intercept. Um, that's what we've got there. So y equals mx plus c. And so what the gradient intercept method says is that, well, you look at the equation, you know the gradient, you know the y-intercept by looking at the equation, and you start at the, at the y-intercept, you plot that point, and then you use the rise and the run um, of the gradient to plot a second point on the line, and you draw a line through them. So basically the steps are, firstly, write down m and c. Write them down, make sure you know it. Then I would plot c on the graph. From there I would move up and across according to m, which remember m is rise over run and then join the dots, baby, join the dots. Okay, and um, I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about now. So there are the steps. Uh, it'll make much more sense once I do an example, which I'll do now. Okay, so an example of this is sketch y equals, let's just start with simple, 2x minus 3. Okay, so let's have a look at this. The, what I just said was that the equation of a line is y equals mx plus c. y equals mx plus c. So let's just try to write down what m is and what uh, c is. So if you look at this, what do you think m is? m is just the number that's in front of x. Can you see it? m is just the number that's in front of x. So in this case, m is 2. What's c? Well, c is the number that sort of sits by itself. So in this case, it's negative 3. Not 3, it's actually negative 3. So whatever the number is sitting out by itself is, that's c. So we've got m and c. And just while you're here, when you've got m, I would write m as a fraction. How do you write 2 as a fraction? That's 2 over 1. So m is 2 over 1. And you'll see why that comes in handy in a second. So, the, um, so if I label my graph, I'll make that 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So every second dot is, a, is, uh, is what we're talking about. 1, 2, 3, uh, negative 1, negative 2, oh, I'm getting lost, it's a bit hard to see. Something like that, okay? So every second uh, grid point is, is worth 1. Let's have a look at this. So what it tells us is that firstly we need to plot the y-intercept. So C, that's the y-intercept there. And I haven't explained this yet, but what y-intercept means is where does the graph cross the y-axis? So here's the y-axis. This line here is the y-axis. And so what that means, the y-intercept is negative 3. So on this line, you have to mark negative 3. So that is that point there. So that is your y-intercept negative 3. That's where the line will cross the y-axis. Fantastic, so that's there. And now the second part of it says, well, with your gradient, your gradient, remember, is equal to rise over run. So that means 2 is your rise and 1 is your run. So what you do is you start at the y-intercept and you go up by 2 and you go across by 1. So rise, so let's do it. We're going to rise by 2. 1, oops, I went too far. 1 and 2. We've gone up two spots. Good. 
And then what it says, the other uh, uh, directions, our, our map tells us we need to also go a run of one. Remember run means to the right. So we need to go to the right by one. So we go across by one and we're finished. We draw another dot there. Now that we have two dots that are on the line, we draw a line through them. So our final line, and this is what you've, you've finished, is to just draw a straight line. So you get your ruler out and draw a line between those two points. And you're finished. That's it. So the steps are, sketch the y-intercept. That goes on first. You put the y-intercept on there. And then from that point, from that y-intercept, you follow the directions of the gradient. You go up by the rise. You go to the right by the run. You, you put on a new dot and then you draw a line between them. That's how to sketch these. So let's now do another example of this. I'm just open a fresh graphing page. Uh, let's just do another one to make sure that you know what's going on. So let's do another example. And what we'll do is we'll sketch y equals negative 5 over 2. Looks a bit horrible. X plus 2. Okay, so let's do this particular one here. Uh, again, let's write down what M and C are equal to. So M, remember M is the number that's in front of X. So in this case, it's negative 5 over 2. That's the number that's in front of X. Uh, good, and what's C equal to? C is the number hanging out the back. In this case, it's positive 2, or just 2. Okay. Um, now m is already in a fraction, which is nice for us, so that's easy to see what the rise is and what the run is. Now, you might not be able to see, oh, I did say it's easy to see, you might not be able to see what this is equal to. Um, just a little reminder, I'll just put this reminder up here. Negative 5 over 2, that's equal to negative 5 divided by 2 like that, so the negative's on the top line. It's also equal to 5 divided by negative 2. These are all the same thing. And so um, if that helps you to write it like that, it might be easier to write it like this. So you can clearly see that the rise is negative 5 and the run is 2. Whereas here, you might not be able to see that. Good. All right. Let's have a look at this. Let's put it on here. So again, I'll say, uh, yeah, it's a, I should probably zoom in a little bit on this. But anyway, I'll make that 1, 2, 3, etc. like that. Okay. Every second one is worth a whole. Okay, uh, good. Let's do this. I'll go in blue. And firstly, we sketch the y-intercept. This is your y-intercept here, your value of c. So your y-intercept is 2. That's where it crosses the y-axis. So it crosses the y-axis at 2. That is your first point. That's where you start for this particular method. Once you've got that, um, then we need to follow our road map. Our road map tells us from that point you need to go 5 down, negative 5, and you need to go 2 to the right. That's that positive 2. So you just follow those directions. So here we go. I'll try not to muck this one up. So we're going 5 down because it's negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I've gone 5 down. That looks good to me. And secondly, we need to go 2 across. So we go 1, Two. And there is our directions are finished. There is your next point. So make that clear that that's your next point. And the last part of the being able to sketch this is you just get your ruler out and you just join those two up. And you go beyond it, you don't just go between it. So try to do this without being too messy. You go, oh, a bit wonky. That should be a straight line. I'm on the computer. You'll forgive me. Um, so that's how we sketch that graph. Um, it's good to also write the equation of the graph on it, y equals negative 5 over 2x plus 2. That's a nice and neat way to show that that's the line. And that's how we do it. Um, and so let's just check this. Um, it's got a negative gradient. Can you see how it's got a negative gradient? So it should be going downhill from left to right. Yes, it's going downhill from left to right. So that's, that's good that we know how to do that. Um, and that is the sketching. Uh, sketching using, it's called the gradient intercept method. And it's called that because we look at the line and we and look at the equation and figure out what's the gradient, what's the y-intercept, and then we sketch using that information. And basically, if you've got an equation that looks like y equals mx plus c, 
Usually that means use this method. It's easy from this method. And the method I'll show you in the next video um, is when it looks like the other form. Remember what I said? The AX plus BY equals C. That will be the other one I'll show you in the other video. So Y equals MX plus C, use this video, this um, video's method. If it looks something different, you go, oh, that doesn't work for this particular method. I'll show you that other method in the next video. See you then.